G'day everyone. Well, it's day two of Briggs and Stratton uh, motor repair. Going to be uh, putting the blade together and bolting this thing back down onto the mower chassis. I will say no copyright infringement on the uh, radio being on. It's just whatever's being played. It's just so I don't send myself mental. But anyway, but yeah, I got new blades for the mower. I might even put a bit of an edge on them with the uh, angle grinder, since there are. Uh, it doesn't really matter too much. It's more just the uh, the slashing, hacking action from it. That's what cuts grass. But I've cleaned that up as good as I can, and so that's all ready to uh, be put back together. Okay, that's the blade all back together and ready to go on. So uh, made sure I've done the nuts up tightly. Otherwise, this will just swing back when it um, hits any grass. Of course, the important thing, yeah, to do those up because they're designed to uh, bend back under a certain amount of uh, pressure so you don't actually bend the crankshaft. Although if you hit there or something, then you definitely are going to wreck your crankshaft. But the good thing is, I have also checked, is that it does run concentric. It's on full compression at the moment, but it's not bent. I know one of my mates actually bent his crankshaft on his mower by hitting a uh, bit of disused drain breather pipe. It's just sticking out about half that height out of the ground and he just went straight into it and he stalled the mower and everything. I think he may have even thrown the conrod but yeah he really wrecked his mower on doing that so always be careful of what you run over with a lawn mower because you don't really want to do that to your blade. But anyway that's all ready to go back onto the, uh, the chassis and give it a test run. Okay we're all back together again ready for a test run. I think I may have stated before that this is a, I believe it's a retrofit to a Victor Power Torque because it's got all the bolt holes and things in it for a, uh, a Power Torque engine even though it's got a Briggs on it but anyway enough about that let's see if it lives or not just one more for good luck yep we're on pretty good. I'm gonna have to fix that kill switch though because that's uh, definitely not too happy. A bit smoky on startup but other than that it's working nicely. It's a nice good score. Near yeah, the uh, back wheels are only just sitting on at the moment. There's supposed to be two brackets that they clamp into but I've just got, got them resting under the, uh, the deck. But, uh, yeah that came up good. Thanks for watching.